Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I'm back with a brand new UK wildlife video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss Scotland's only remaining native cat, the Scottish wild cat. Like the vast majority of Scottish people, I've never seen a wild cat in the wild, but I was still lucky enough to see two captive bred cats the other week, which inspired me to look into these elusive mammals more. Scottish wild cats descended from the European wild cat and are thought to have been isolated from the continent 7,000 to 9,000 years ago due to rising sea levels. Scottish wild cats are not considered a subspecies of the European wild cat, although the cats living within Scotland are still classed as the Scottish wild cat. It was once a species found throughout the UK, but due to hunting and habitat loss from things such as urbanisation and industrialisation, they are now only found in the north of Scotland in the Highlands, in places such as Aberdeenshire and the Cairn Gorms. The Scottish wildcat's habitat preferences are woodland in their outlying areas, the edges of mountainous regions and shrubland. Similar to the majority of cat species, they are solitary and mainly hunt at night, only coming together for the purposes of breeding. Their diet mainly consists of rabbits, but they also hunt mice, voles and birds. The Scottish wildcat is classed as critically endangered mainly due to hybridisation, which could ultimately lead to genetic extinction. This is because Scottish wildcats are breeding with domestic and feral cats, and these hybrids are breeding with pure Scottish wildcats to the point the gene pool of the wildcat is likely going to be replaced by those of the domestic cat. This process is known as genetic introgression. Recent studies found all Scottish wildcats tested had varying levels of hybridisation, but the average was around 25% hybridisation. Although a lot of wildcats spotted still have the same wildcat markings and appearance and would still be classed as a protected species. These cats are very elusive and the exact remaining number of wildcats is unknown, although it was estimated to be around 115 to 314 individual cats. These results coming from trail cameras surveys conducted in 2010 to 2013, but today the number is estimated to only be around 100. Domestic cats can transmit many diseases to the wild cats and are responsible for the reduction of some of the food sources in the area. In 2022, a Polish scientific institute controversially categorised domestic cats as an alien invasive species. This was due to an increase in scientific consensus that domestic cats are a real threat to bird and other wildlife populations by the vast number they hunt and kill. However, some argue that although hybridisation is high within Scotland's remaining wildcat population, this is likely due to the low number of wildcats in these areas compared to the high number of feral and domestic cats. This means male cats would have to travel further to find a mate, increasing the likelihood of finding a female domestic cat. Wild cats are much larger than any domestic cat and male wild cats could easily kill any other cat within its territory. There are, however, other threats such as habitat loss from proposed wind farms. Historically, wild cats have been classed as vermin, especially pre-World War I, and to this day are still killed to prevent them from killing game birds. Traffic on the roads is also a threat as it is to every other animal. So can the wild cat population be saved? There are many organisations that have breeding programmes with the aim of reintroducing these wild cats into the wild. For these programmes, they're pairing up wild cats with the highest genetic purity so these cats can continue on. As mentioned previously, the European wild cat and Scottish wild cat are still scientifically considered the same species, so the introduction of these European cats could also be a viable option. Community outreach programmes and education for cat owners in areas where wild cats are found has also been rolled out. Along with trying to control the feral cat population in the area, there are also plans to attempt to reintroduce wild cats into parts of England and Wales. The future looks brighter for the Scottish wildcat, and with their conservation being high priority to a lot of organisations, I can see these cats bouncing back in years to come. A breeding and reintroduction programme was so successful in Germany that these cats have now started appearing in the Czech Republic. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.